Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Spellforce Conquest of EO. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 10. It's week 22, day 7, about to start a new week. We have the Flying Spire. We can lift off and fly freely through Fiara while your tower keeps emitting your domain. Costs you 5 mana per turn, so it is an expensive thing, but it's very cool. You can keep your tower emitting now, so that's awesome. We like that. We're going to end our turn here. And the trolls are doing our work for us. Very nice. Taking on enemies. That's great. And we get 50% XP bonus this week. Ooh, and we got our normal bars from this week. That's great. So we're here trying to increase our reputation with Audale, which is stuck in the ta inside Rohan Tahir's domain. So if we want to go visit them, we got to make it kind of snappy. Um, so I have a wisp headed off in this direction, which is looking for adamantium veins so we can create some more um, golems before we go attack him. I'd really like to replace this guy with a golem and we'd like to get the extra slot that Audale provides with their building that gives you a seventh slot in your stack. So what I really need to do is get another wisp and move it around so we can actually get quests from Audale. Because I got a bunch of enemies down here too. So let's see if we can get another wisp going. We're going to summon one here, and we're going to try to work it around because we know it can't get across this space in a single turn. They're too slow, these little wisps are. We'll keep it outside of his territory, and we'll try to go around and get over here, and we should be able to get right up into this node and then very quickly go in, touch Audale, get whatever quests there are, and exit back out. Meanwhile, my group's here. Let's have these guys mine some rubble. And let's have these blokes try to take down some enemies over here. So now she can get all attacks removed guard stance from the target, or you can put her in parry stance. Attacks of opportunity do not consume actions, and retaliation attacks do not consume actions. I'd rather just put a glyph on her that does that. And there are glyphs for that. You need adamantium to do it. So, or refills two actions of an allied unit in five range. That's a nice one to have too. I'd probably just rather have the guard stance for her. Let's see about... Oh, and we, we got a guy. We slaved a guy. Let's see about that particular um, glyph. It's the guardian's glyph. Guardian's four. You need adamantium for it. So we're going to go see our gentleman way up north, right here, and he's going to purchase some adamantium for the week. What is this? A heat stone, and then we got sky irons. Okay. Now let's see about what this is. We need adamantium to make it, and then what you need is elemental, death, and cyan, and if you have all those three, you can do it. So here's a death and a cyan. And you don't need a lot. If you had one point in each of those, Elemental, Death, and Cyan. Oh, right there. Watch this. Bingo. There it is. Because the Adamantium itself adds to, to whatever points you've put in here. So this gets you this Pure Glyph of the Guardians. Attacks of Opportunity do not consume actions. Retaliation attacks do not consume actions. So we'll use up that one. In fact, I'd really like to make one more of those if we could. Do we have another? Okay, so here we go. If we use this Brain... That's going to get us two of them, and then we just need one orange, and there we go. So we're going to craft those, and then he's just going to snooze. And then on her, when that's available, we'll put it in here. But what we'd also like to do is get her something else. This is what every ally in the unit gains. She needs this one. She needs each, for each ally with follower in this stack, this unit receives plus three damage we'd like to add that to her as well so this is the corrupted glyph of the leader 
so you need a corrupted one. And the leader three corrupted, you need orange life and cyan. And that's where it gets hard is getting the life in there. And without a piece of adamantium, it's going to make it really hard. So I don't know that we can actually do that. Well, there's this. You could use the harvest plant one. Or you could do... How much does harvest plant get us? It gets us one. Ooh. Well, hmm. That's tough. Because you need what? Leader. Pathfinder. Leader. You need cyan and orange. Yeah, there's not enough. Not enough for us to do that. That's too much. So if you removed that, you'd be here. And with the third slot, there's still not enough. Because you'd need two oranges. Two oranges, two greens, and another cyan. You need a combination of elements that we just don't have access to right now. So that one's not... Because a gold nugget will only get you so far. We need this slot unlocked here. And that's going to take some time, so... So we're not going to get that one. That's okay. What else do we have to do up here? So bring it here on level 15 and finish your story. We have done that, and now the first of our circle ones is done. We need three. I did look to see if there was a difficulty setting that made it so you had to get all six in order to win the game, and surprisingly, there's not. So this is something I'm going to discord the developers or something and see if they want to do, but I would love a difficulty setting that would say... Um, to do either three, four, five, or six would be your options. Because I'd love to set it at six and have to get all these to finish and and ascend to the circle. Anyway, onward. And these guys also, you can do the same thing too. Um, adding another glyph slot. I'm just over here sneezing. It's great. It's such a good time. Uh, there's a spell back here for you to do this. This blessing, it costs 66. You add an additional glyph slot. So definitely something we want to do when we can. Anyway, we're here. Let's do this. Those guys are dead. We get a cut. Oh, and we get this. This is nice. Corrupted Glyph of the Owl. Eight focus for spellcasters, which is really great, but it's also got three cyan. So there's places that you're going to want to use that. And what I mean is, uh, and this one, three cyans and a green. These are when you're trying to upgrade your tower slots and some of these ones down here like this, like the all fire siphon. This is really hard to pull off you want to do this but you need glyphs like this like this up here whispering gemstone um, what else do we have we need oranges oranges and greens so like this this guard break one that gets you your two cyans and then you still have this you could take that out but then it gets really, really difficult. Yeah. We're just not there yet. We don't have, we still don't, we need more like this. These ones that have triple with something else in them. We need more of those. But you can get this and you can get this later on. And adamantium helps. So, what am I looking at here? Crystal garden, study. I need the adamant, I need room for the adamantium forge, is what's going on here. Crystal garden. This gets us a three mana per day. I think I'd like to put another crystal garden here. What do we have? We have crystal garden in the crystal chamber. The chamber does this. This has some nice stuff in it. So right here, increase your tower movement by four. This is a really nice one to have. It requires two cyans and an orange. So like this, if you use all of these stardust, you can get this. We don't have any more slots up here so we can do the rest of these. But healing beam I've used before and it's great. You move your tower around and you just keep it close to your enemies and while you're battling stuff around them. This really does a whole bunch of help each day. Uh, you can reduce. If we're going to use a lot of white damage, you could use the light beam. But really what you want to do is the all fire siphon. So you want that 
and this and the magnetic resonator and those are really nice but crystal gardens give you more mana and i would like some more mana so if i put another crystal garden up we can upgrade it and get some more mana and then we want to save the last slot for the adamantium forge we're going to want to put flight on our people and start moving down in this direction because there will be some adamantium down here so i think since we seem to have everything over here take care except for these dead guys we'll get them the undead let's take them out so that that slot's taken care of and then we can come down here and start doing this let's get flight on everybody it's an expensive way to have to do this but it's our best option it's our only hope, Obi-Wan. Because I really want one more golem slot. So, we captured these two guys. They're slaves now. And I don't think we can do much with them. Except take them back to camp here. And where is our tower? These guys are going to go see the elves. They're going to try to get themselves a another person founded by both humans and elves alluvian is renowned for its elegant elvish architecture and lush gardens the city the city's gatherers roam the countryside looking for medicinal and magical ingredients and traveling elves often stay here and bring rare plants from Finn and Mir. so we definitely want to go visit that this is a region that you can start in like you will start right about here so you can very quickly get to the elves and you can very quickly get over to seven keeps i've started there before it works as an artificer but it's i've found that it's just better to start in the mountains in the snowy mountains so approaching the bridge you spot something underneath it a simple wooden chest not locked but nailed shut let's crack it open Inside, you find a bundle of clothes, some rations, and a little gold. An unsealed letter falls to the ground as you rummage through the clothes. Read the letter. Dear brother, let's meet tomorrow. I've saved it enough money for us to travel to Seven Keeps. I am yet to find a way to make a living there, but don't you worry. I will take care of us. I promise. Love, Isabel. P.S. Try not to anger your stepmother too much tonight. I can't bear you getting hurt again. Oh, well. We'll make their journey easier. Give them five gold. I don't know if that actually does anything in the game. I can't I can't come to any kind of conclusion that it does, but it is some time since you heard any dispute over Alluvian's Lenya fields. Recently, though, humans have begun harvesting again. And there have been whispers of the elves wanting to take more aggressive action. On the outskirts of the village, you see large creatures of bark and leaves rising from nearby forests. Elven rangers between them. We tried to talk, but we were lenient for too long. Ellen's wrath will wash this village clean. Mm. Well, I see. They are right. We will stand with the elves. You join the rangers, defending them as the tree ants stomp the village into the ground. Once the humans have fled, silence falls on the grasslands before you. Oh, and this caused a negative on a living. I thought it would be the other way around. Okay. You've done a great deed today. We must save as much of Ellen's grace as we can, and you have helped in that. We found these in the human's possession. May they bring you luck. So we get this. Oh, a philosopher's stone adds two points, so it works like adamantium. Well, that's nice. And Lenya adds a point to every essence, so it works like gold. But we get <laughs> we get minus reputation with this city here. So mysterious sickness. The local theater group has fallen violently ill overnight. Sounds like food poisoning. The medics are at a loss. No one knows what ails them. We hope that Lenya will at least give them some comfort. Do you have any in a group to spare? Yes, please take these tufts. Oh, well, we have three. We'll give them to them. So we get 40 points there. It takes some time, 40 points of reputation. But the Lenya is able to drive the sickness out. After a few hours, the troop feels much better. The medics give you the thanks, and word of your good deed quickly spreads. And then we have to wait before we can get up to level 3 and do this next quest. You have access to these guys, militia members... And there are some items here. So if you're an herbalist, this plus one melee damage and grants gather and gather a boost. So that's kind of nice. Let's buy that. Well, yeah, let's buy it and give it to somebody. One of our mages. What are you doing? Does your 
Group, your group can't harvest. Oh, but if I give it to you, now you can. Oh, that's a good plan for you. You should harvest for a while. All right, so we got this wisp right here. Oh, and I was going to put the wisp on the all fire. Okay. Oh, what is this? The all fire calls to you, whispering of unfathomable power. Unfathomable. Can't say that word. <laughs> what? What animated movie is that where he's trying to say this word and he can't? <laughs> I can't God, it's sticking in my head. <laughs> but I can't. I can't remember it now. Now that your tower is near, you can finally unlock this node's full potential. But suddenly an image flashes before your eyes. A flaming circle in the sky. Oh, it's it's um Mega Mind. When he disguises himself and creates the character of Titan and he's telling him he's got this lisp and he's like unfathomable. Unfathomable power. That movie is so good. God, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Stay away from the all fire. A voice of multitude of voices sears across your mind. Its secrets are not for the uninitiated. Yeah. Try to stop me. Unless, of course, they will try to stop me. This guy's got some units there. And he's got a stack of seven already. So sometimes these guys will try to fight you. It's really annoying because they want to go on these buildings. So even though you're they're your friends and they worship you, they do that. And it's kind of annoying. Just a little bit annoying. Okay, new turn, new day. Let's harvest some more. And he made a level. It's willpower or elemental resistance. So elemental resistance trying to improve his survivability here. Alright. Light. I need to find out where my tower is, though. Because where is my tower? My tower needs to be back here. It needs to be over here. So where is the tower? It was way over here because we wanted to get this. Okay. Um, we got that node now. I think it's time to move the tower. Alright, jump. For my love. Jump in. And it will emit our domain the whole time, which is great. Grab some stuff along the way here. <coughs> nice. Okay. You should probably go catch up to the tower. And ride with it, buddy. So these blokes over here... They can mine stuff, but they can't harvest stuff. Well... I don't want to use up all my spell power doing this, but we do have a means to handle this. It's Earth Master, Earth Lore. Oh, you guys will have to wait for a turn. Okay. I should just hang out there. Now we have you. I'm going to try to move down here. You are going to try to go get this. And that thing will chase you away. Alright, everybody, you got flight. Let's go. Go find that juicy adamantine. Oh, I saw the red and I thought that's one, but it's not. Silver Drift Hollow, you're just waiting. You can go up here and harvest now because you have harvest and bonus harvest. Followers of Magua. I need to get uh, that. Oh, yeah. See, I told you. Here they come. But fortunately, he fled in the right direction. So that's good. All right. We have that all fire node now. Great. And we have. A rider comes to your tower from a nearby village, having ridden her horse hard through the night to reach you in good time. Our village is under attack. Please, you must help us. We will come to your aid at once. It's right there. Broken peace. Ooh. Okay. Well. 
Broken piece. That's a red quest. So it looks like a major thing. You can find out by going out to the map. And it's right there. Yep. Circle adventure. So we'll find out what that's all about. But first. We'll do this. And it became a sky iron vein. Nice. Alright. Yeah. I think having you in the tower would be good. Well. No. You gotta stay here. This is dangerous for you, but you have to stay here. Not that he can defend this, he can't, but we gotta be able to go in the seven keeps. And they you get a free keeper's unit. That's the prize here, is not a room for your tower, but it's the keeper's unit. And we have to be able to get up to level four and get TR's priestesses. So we need some of those people. So he's just gonna have to stay here. Alright. Where do you get there's an all fire node down here? about you guys? Go here first. Let's move them around because they have a lot of movement. Okay. Oh, and there's one right there. Adamantine. Nice. Okay. There's usually one over here, maybe a second one. And then over here, right here on the rivalry orcs, there's usually one over here. So that's what we're going to try to get the wisp over there for. So Driftalo is waiting. You're trying to go around. So we have to go over here and grab their quests. So you're going to snooze. And the tower can move. Good deal. The misfortune here is that we don't have anybody to defend the tower. I mean, we got these guys, but they're not true defenders. They kind of do their own thing. So if we have to pull somebody back before we can get that golem, it's going to stink. Which reminds me. Oh. Oh, he's probably going to die. No, he healed a little bit. Okay. If you can capture one of those jellyfish, they make really good scouts. They have a long hold. They can travel a good distance. All right, what are you guys doing? Go up here. Is there a harvest node for you? Do you have a harvest one? It's got focus. They can traverse mountain cliffs. This is the greater glyph of the pathfinder. Leech, death resistance, guard, fire wielder, damage against undead, daily regeneration, harvest plant. Yes, okay, that's what I want. You can do that next. I'll give you that chance. Stay there. What's going on? Spring cleaning. Hmm. What's that about? Here we touch. Coming back to the noble house, you see the sign still up in the door. Destroy Dark Veils. Oh, okay. That's the destroy Dark Veils undead thing. Well, he's not going to do that by himself. Okay, we're here. I really want to see if there's one over in this direction. It doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's get over here then. Let's do this one. Auto resolve. Okay. What do we have over here? We have these things. Okay, good. We're going to want to heal ourselves next turn tower can move get moving baby and when that room gets built we'll get f we'll get uh four more slots when we get this upgrade done oh is the upgrade done now it should be next time we should get a move increase your tower movement by four yeah the magnetic resonator sweet okay Craft time, three turns. It's here. It's built. That's good. Just being able to move is good. Alright, so what we need to build is... This one. Corrupted... No, not that one. Slaver. We need a slaver one. Alright, so the slaver is two orange and a cyan. Mm. Two orange and a cyan. Yikes. How are we going to get that? Let's take... I'll look at oranges and cyans or just oranges and see where we're at 
Because I can get two oranges. Okay, here we go. Two orange and a cyan. A sealed elemental. Summon a lesser fire golem. Don't care about it. I'd much rather have this. Two oranges and a cyan. So I've got this. If I can find an orange and a cyan, we're good. I can use another ore. There we go. Glyph of the Slaver. You gotta have that for your golems, or you're, otherwise you're screwed. Because they're gonna drain your mana and, and then they'll go away. And if you can't maintain them, they, I think they just disappear. Oh, are you coming over for my node? I'm gonna be mad if you are. We gotta see where we're at on research and teleportation. Oh, yes. Please come down here. Follow me down here and destroy these guys. Be great. Oh, now we're going to die. Dornk, he's gone. Here we go. Trolls winning. Nice. Okay. Trolls are winning on that one. Where are we doing? We're way over here in proficiency and not researching as much. Let's do this. We need some research. Because here's what we, we're at 50. And so the next big upgrade is at level 100. So as much as I would like to get there really fast, we need do need to research because we need to see uh, where is teleportation. It's here and we're quite a ways away from it. So we're going to need it. You guys do this. You're just going to hang out. Stay out of trouble. You're there and we have to do the spell. And it's going to take a few turns and we have the slaver thing there. So let's go down here. Build a golem for 150. It's going to take us three turns. Two turns it says. Okay. I'm going to try to... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. Land on the tile. Jesus crying out loud land on the tile mouse okay as it turns out we're not going to attack these guys their their pull is too long they can rush right up and kill my vulnerable guys so uh, now we have Medusas here basilisk has 10 movement these things have nine movement that's also going to come up there and kill us and these guys got seven I don't think we can heal ourselves this way, so we're just going to have to hold tough. Um, maybe we can do some gold while we're waiting. That's what this is, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, we're waiting for the spell then. So that was a bad idea. Getting up here to the town of Audale. Tower can move. Oh yeah, I can see the tower pull now. The plus four kicked in. Up here, bro. Bro. <laughs> Alright, end of the turn. Oh, he decided not to go after the all fire. That's nice. Thought he was going to take it. Yeah, because we got 54 all fire right now, so. They're very quick to get that gold. Harvesting wheat grants you. Harvesting. Yay, harvest. Oh, he's probably going to get attacked by this thing. No, that thing will stay on the bridge. How long before we can get... Ranger. I need a ranger in this guy's group. Probably would be the best thing to do. Although, he, yeah, because he's got a healer. Although it's not a very good healer. Okay. Um, what, we're one turn away? And there's another adamantium vein down here. Oh, let's get that one. It's further away. So, let's get that one first. If we can, we might not be able to. The Medusa may finish this off. Nope, it says we can get him. Okay, cool. They fall to the laser beam. 
<gasps> and we got a we got a couple of creatures out of it. We slaved both of these guys. Oh, awesome. Okay, that's good. Um, this is really good. Stay right there then. Next turn we're gonna make a golem. Then we're gonna try to make another slave glyph and make a second golem over here. And then we'll have we will be able to replace this guy and we'll have a seventh golem uh, a seventh spot golem ready to go. Oh, and then we're gonna have the stack of doom. Okay, you. Well, head over here and grab this mana. Tower, move. The tower moving is a really cool idea. It's like these guys watched Krull or something. Alright, Audale, very soon we will be able to check you for quests. Because that'll help immensely. You guys need to come back, but we can't do anything until we get that, so... You're just going to have to hang out. What are they, anyway? Tier 2 Basculus, they have Petrifying Gaze, stuns an enemy. Oh, nice. Oh, that could be handy. Uh-oh! That's what I was worried about. He's going to convert that. He's going to convert the tower, isn't he? <gasps> no, not my basilisks. Oh, no. You rats. That stinks. I lost one of my basilisks, and now I'm getting attacked at another tower. That's what the game does. You want to have a little time to do something? This is what's going to happen. Not again. And a bunch of our stuff got stolen. Oh, man. Okay, so what's he doing? Lodge is being destroyed. Okay, I'll take that. That one's being destroyed and one's being pillaged. As long as it's not being converted, I don't care. Okay. I can live with that. In that case... Here we go. This is what we're going to do. Golem. Yep, and it's going to cost us. So... That. Now what we want to do is take you, Sparky. I appreciate you. You've been really good. We're going to recall you guys to the tower. They're there. You're waiting for one more day. You're going there. And we have to fly you. And we don't have a lot of... We don't have his glyph ready yet. And we also need to get another slaver glyph ready. So let's see if we can do that. It's that. What did we say slaver was? Two oranges and a cyan. Okay. Well... Two oranges and a cyan. Let's see what we can do about that. An orange and a cyan. And then this. Doink. And then uh, let's see if we can do it a different way then. If we use a pumpkin. Oh, it's still. We'd have to use a second pumpkin. I want to save that 3 1 for later. For one of the big tower rooms upgrades. So if we do this. Yep. Craft that. Now the corrupted leader. And Corrupted Pathfinder. Okay. Corrupted Pathfinder is green and cyan. We need all the greens. Green and cyan. This is the greater Pathfinder one we don't want to do. Lesser Glyph of the Swordmaster. We don't want to do that one. Green and cyan there. That's only one green. What's this? Daily regeneration. Oh, I don't like using that one. I don't have enough here. Pull it off unless I wanted to use Mountain Goat. Even then, I still don't have enough. I'm short one green. I need a two green item. And I don't want to use 
Yeah, I used that one. I used this other mountain goat one. They don't have enough. Don't have enough. Okay. Well then. So I can't do that one. I can't do Corrupted Pathfinder, which means Leader would be even harder. Because I need Orange. Yeah, so those aren't going to happen for a little while. Okay. Grab this mana. Let's get over here. We do have our Slaver Glyphs. So... So we're good on that end. Oh, and then he's got to go all the way around. Yikes. Okay, hold on. Can the tower move? Yes. Come here. Catch up. There we go. Now you can cross the river. Now you can cross the river, little worker. And this can move in this direction. And you are just about now, in order to get in and out, you're going to have to wait a turn. To be certain of it. <gasps> no, 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 no. You stay in the tower, dingbats. I'd really like to get them all the way over here back to this other mage. But I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to have to bring the mage to us. So we're going to snooze them. Lodge being destroyed. Lodge being destroyed. Pillaged. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, as long as he's not converting it, that way we we can build another lodge at seven keeps. Or if it or if it's being robbed, that's fine. It stays. We just gotta keep the reputation up. No, leave my guy alone. Turkey. Crystal Garden is constructed. Yay. Okay, let's see if the Crystal Garden has anything easy. Yep, more mana. Two greens and a cyan. What is this one? Greater Glyph of the Pathfinder. We're not using that. This one. Lesser Glyph of the Swordmaster. That one I wouldn't mind using. Otherwise, it's this. Two greens and a cyan. What's this one? Daily Regeneration. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really set up for this, am I? I'm still missing too many things here. Like, you could do this. And then what you'd need to do is... Two points for every essence you had in there. If you went down there and did this, that would give it to you. Mana storage. Do I want to burn the daily regeneration one on this? Yes, I do. The mana's more important. It is. Mana's more important. Okay, so that one's being upgraded. We got to get this all fire siphoned, and this is going to take a lot, so. All right. Lodge being destroyed. So this one's being destroyed by the Conclave, and it's getting us points for the elves down here. And this one is being pillaged, and that's totally fine, because it keeps seven keeps going up. If we could click, it gets, we get seven keeps reputation from here, not from here. So we have to finish that one by killing some undead, so. Alright, this is going to be the last turn for this episode, I think. These guys are going to roll on in over here. And just hang out until we get the next one ready. Hmm. Do we want to start it this soon? It's going to be costly. Yeah, let's do it. The sooner we can get it, the better. I think we're golden. First of the week. Good deal. You guys are waiting. Village gossip. You had to escape. Can you? It's on the other side of the river. Get that. You're going to get attacked by him again. And you got seven. Okay, what kind of quest can we get from Otto? Undead armies. The delegation of Audale's dignitaries approach you. One steps forward, bowing and smiling while a servant holds his umbrella. Good mage, we humbly ask that you lend us your strength. Armies of undead have come down from the northeast and ravaged the countryside. We can only deal with so many. 
for our forces are stretched thin. Help us and you shall receive an artifact from our treasury in return. We will take on the undead. Oh, they said northeast, but they're right there. <laughs> so, here we go. This is the thing we... Well, it doesn't show it yet, does it? The Warriors Hall. That's what we want. Get you an extra stack. There's this. Ooh, we're buying that. That's got three oranges. And three oranges there. Good. Those are nice. Okay. So you're going to get out of there and stay right there. And the tower is going to move in this direction. Unveil the map. And get us closer to Hoken. All right, that's going to be the end of this turn, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. If you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments below. Tweak the algorithm. We will press forward. We got an extra golem. We're about to get another one. And then we will be able to doom stack our way through some of this, which will be great. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this. I really, really like this game. I'll see you next time. And until then, happy gaming, everyone.